All right, YouTube, my brethren, welcome back to the Golden Gun Channel. We've brought you gold, baby gold, today, as we like to do as much as we possibly can. Uh, should have the camera stable now. Um, we do bring you silver sometimes, uh, such as these uh, silver dragon coin bars, which we brought you recently. Uh, a tube of them, you can go back and look at a, uh, just a, a video ago. Uh, but today we've promised you gold, um, and gold is what we have. Um, and finally, we've got a different type of sovereign than what we've had earlier. Um, I keep getting the veiled head, the old head sovereign. That's Queen Victoria right there. Uh, and you can see why they call it the veiled head um, I've shown this one before and look uh, some of you guys overseas you're looking for these veiled heads and old heads you know for your collection but uh, but I keep getting them one uh, hold on a second uh, two three all veiled heads all old heads it's just what I keep seeming to get and as you know I'm trying to fill a tube as well uh, anything that fits a 22 millimeter airtight um, these sovereigns certainly fit, um, and I've shown before, this is the German Marks, a uh, beautiful coin right there. Um, and, uh, and this is uh, uh, what Fish sent me on a recent video, um, the 10 Diaz, um, the, the, the Diaz Peso. Um, and you can see the eagle there with the snake, so that's pretty cool. So we were five of, uh, five of the way through that tube that fills 20 of the 22mm airtights, 25%, a quarter of the way. Um, and, uh, and this week we've finally got something different to show you guys. Um, and we've finally got a different sovereign, so we can have a bit of diversity with my sovereigns. Um, which is great. Now, there was quite a few sovereigns at my local coin shop. I was going to get two of them, as I mentioned in a previous video. But instead I got, uh, only one sovereign. Um, and I got this, uh, tube of dragon coin bars, which you can see in a previous video if you want to check them out. Uh, but this week, um, I'll show you the one sovereign that I did get. It was a shame not getting more. Um, but they had a, a couple of proof sovereigns. Um, and I'm sure you've seen the title of this video. So this is a 2000 um, proof sovereign uh, right there for you guys to take a look at. Um, it looks in pretty good condition to my naked eye. Just a bit of finger mark there on the capsule. Um, there is Elizabeth um, on the on the uh, back on the reverse um, and as you can see there's a mirror finish there most of you guys will know what proof is but in case you don't um, it's uh, it's considered premium high quality the mint uh, goes to more effort when they stamp these uh, these coins when they strike them when they're making them um, and they strike them an extra time and they make it like a mirror like finish so you can see there it's got a mirror like finish um, other than me wiping the capsule, um, it's not perfect for the video, is it? Um, and here is, look, just a standard sovereign. It's not a proof. It's also a lot older. It's over a hundred years old. Um, but that's the standard sovereign right there. Um, and there's your mirror finish. So you can see that it's got a mirror finish there. Um, and this one, it's considered the millennial, um, sovereign because it's in the year 2000. Um, you know, which is cool. Um, and it had the lowest mintage out of the ones that were available at my local coin shop. Um, it's got a mintage of 10,000. Now, um, I, um, uh, I gotta tell you, uh, uh, often these proof sovereigns, they cost a lot more. They're, they're definitely a lot more premium, like I was saying. And they come in a box, uh, with presentation and certificates, um, and stuff like that. Um, and in this case, there is no box and presentation and certificates. And that would be a problem, however, I got this uh, proof sovereign as cheaply as I get these other sovereigns. Um, uh, uh, so look, that wasn't a problem for me. Um, and to be honest, the boxes, they're annoying because you've got to take care of the box and, and, and the certificates and the presentation as well as the gold. Um, you know, it would be great to have, of course, and it would make it be worth more. I'm going to link in the description a video of Gold Digger Dave. He's got a great channel and probably more professional than me. Um, and he's showing an unboxing of, I believe it's a 1979 proof sovereign. Um, and that one's got all the, uh, the box and presentation as, uh, as they come. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, check out his channel in general and, uh, and check out that video. 
Um, but this is what I've got today, um, and it's, uh, yeah, uh, just something a little bit different than my standard bullion sovereigns um, and all my Victorias, or the three Victorias that I've picked up so far. So, yeah, really, really glad to have this. We've got six now out of the uh, 20 for the tube that I'm making um, that fits the 22 millimeter air types. So I guess we're 30% of the way there. Um, more than a quarter, just under a third. I know the math, the math that I've just hit you with is unbelievable. Um, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. You've got to comment to make sure your subscription sticks. Um, obviously you're a human being, you know, most probably if you're watching this. So of course you, you crucially need these gold videos in your life. So yeah, don't forget to, forget to, um, like and share and comment and subscribe. Um, but I hope you like this, uh, gold baby gold and the, this proof gold, uh, 2000 millennial, uh, sovereign here today. Um, I'll come back, uh, at you guys soon and I hope you guys like that. Thank you very, very much.